Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from one of my outdoor pens today. Today I wanted to give you guys an update on my pixie frog breeding. I have a little trio of pixies. They are the African bullfrogs, one of, not the largest, one of the largest species of frog in the world. They're absolutely ginormous, they're really cool. I think they look like one of the fairy tale toads. They're really bright and beautiful. I actually attempted a breeding last year to no avail. However, I didn't think they were quite big enough. I supervised them and everyone came out a-okay. I'm trying to reintegrate them this summer. They're in a 300 gallon water tank, which normally they are indoors throughout the winter in smaller tanks. However, individually. I put them in here together. Let's take a look. You can see this hefty dude in the center is my male and I have an older video of him and you can see that he's filling up an entire dish like maybe the size of a between a plate and a teacup saucer but he's a pretty beastly dude. I would pick him up so you could get some perspective but anyone who knows about frogs knows that they can absorb a lot of things through their skin. The soaps, lotions, detergents, um, even the oils on our skin can be damaging to them. Oh, there was a little female that just popped up. I have this male. You can tell the males from the females as they get older by the bright orange stripe that they get up under their chins, down to their legs, which you can't see with him down, uh, kind of laid down on the rock. But also the males get quite a bit larger. I have them right now in probably four to six inches of water and you can see I have lots of things for them to climb out on and hang out on. I do know that for breeding to be facilitated, the females need to be able to get under the male. So I know the water needs to be that deep. On the other hand, frogs can drown and I didn't want the water so deep they felt stressed out. I had it quite a bit deeper and I had the rocks kind of stacked up and I was really worried they were going to fall and somebody was going to get squished so I changed it up a little bit. So if any of you have bred pixie frogs before I would love to hear all about it. I would love to know what you did and how many tadpoles your frogs were able to spawn. I hope you guys liked seeing this little trio of froggies. I think they're absolutely adorable. And I actually think, don't want to um, touch him too much. But yes, that is a big, breathing, giant frog. This is the tank I have the trio set up in. I have one larger male and two smaller females. Now, frogs are definitely not my specialty. If there are any pixie frog aficionados out there, and you have any tips that you would like to give me, um, I'm all ears. Also, if you have a perspective on whether you think maybe they're too young or too small or something I may be able to do to stimulate breeding, I would love to hear it. My intention is to have them outdoors and with the monsoon season, you know, let them be in the natural rain. This has a spigot on the end. I have a larger tub up on the other side. I can, um, dechlorinate fresh water and do regular partial water changes so it doesn't get too mucky. I don't like it to be perfectly clean, but yeah, middle of the road to where it's not like filled with algae and everything, but they feel comfortable. If you have information on recommended depths of water and anything I can do to stimulate behavior, I would love to hear it. Thanks for watching this pixie frog update. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in the next video.